Hey, what is up, everybody? RJ back with another video. And today, I am going to bring you guys the Hell in a Cell DVD. That's right. Today, it's time for the Hell in a Cell DVD. Um, came out today. Um, actually, I had a hard time finding it. Usually, I don't have a hard time finding DVDs. Had a hard time with this one. Um, I wish they had it on Blu-ray. I couldn't find it on Blu-ray anywhere. I looked, uh, I've had a friend of mine tell me it's not on Blu-ray. I take his word. He's never lied to me before. So it's definitely not on Blu-ray this time, guys. At least not in this country. Um, go ahead and give you a look at it. Pretty simple. Um, no insert, like always. There's the front. There's the, it was the poster of the pay-per-view. The back, you see the, the triple threat match right there. You see the other world title match right there. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and run through this real quick. Triple Threat, Hell in a Cell is the main event. Then we got the, the Hell in a Cell World Heavyweight title, Mark Henry versus Randy Orton, and Sheamus and Christian, Sin Cara versus Sin Cara. Uh, then we got the tag title match, Intercontinental Championship match, and then the Divas match and special features. Now, uh, special features, you got JR interviewing Mark Henry, about 45 seconds long, then home video exclusive, Matt Stryker interviews Alberto Del Rio, that's about two and a half minutes long. So as far as special features go, this thing is completely flat on that, well, let me show you this real quick. Alright, there's the disc, nothing special, and of course they don't do inserts anymore, they, almost, they never do, so, yeah. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and get into this real quick, alright. First match, I'm going to go from bottom to top here for you guys. Uh, first match, Kelly Kelly versus Beth Phoenix for the Divas Championship. Um, this is the second run around for this type of match. Uh, it was alright, I guess. I really, usually don't talk about the Divas match because they're so quick. And there's not really much to say about them besides the fact that the WWE is just like the tag team division. The Divas division is a big joke for the company. I mean, that's just the way it is, you know. And I usually don't, I usually don't talk about it much for that reason. But um, look, going go into Intercontinental Championship match: Cody Rhodes versus John Morrison. First of all, I like to say that Cody Rhodes to me is the best Intercontinental Champion we've had. Just like Dolph Ziggler is the best United States Champion we've had in a while. But especially Cody Rhodes. I mean, I love, I love that old school um, Intercontinental title. With that steel with the white and stuff, the one that Shawn Michaels and Randy Savage and people held. And I, I really, really love that title. I mean, I, I plan on getting it's one of the only replicas I don't have. I want to get a replica of that title. That's on my to do list for this year. That's for dang sure. Uh, then we got the WWE Tag. Well, well, before I go to that, that match was actually pretty darn good. John Morrison. Uh, I still think he's on his way out of the company. They're, they don't really, really have to do anything. I mean, his big spot this week was getting his stomach rubbed by one of the Muppets on Raw. So, I mean, I don't, I don't see him having much of a future in the company. Uh, then we got WWE Tag Team Championship match. Air Boom, Kofi Kingston and Airborne, Evan Airborne versus Dolph Ziggler and Jack Swagger. Now, that match... Uh, that match was pretty darn bad. I remember not liking it at all. It was very boring, very boring match. Uh... Sin Cara versus Sin Cara, you know, who cares really? Uh, Sheamus versus Christian, a good match, but boring. Something about it. I mean, it was a great match. These two guys are can go in the ring, let's just face it. They're good wrestlers, but just something about it. It was just kind of boring to me. Um, not, I'm not saying anything bad about it. It's just that, you know, I just didn't get really get. I wasn't really into it, let's just say that. Uh, Mark Henry versus Randy Orton in a cell. Uh, that was a very good match. It really was. Um... My favorite part is the fact that we actually seen Mark Henry get put over against Orton twice. That's something a lot of people didn't see coming. I kind of did see it only because I think this is Mark Henry's last run. And I think that he wants to get you know, that one title run in. That JBL style title run that lasts a while. If you're going to have one, you might as well be a good one. That's for sure. Um, triple threat, Hell in a Cell match for the WWE Championship. John Cena... CM Punk and Alberto Del Rio. All right, Alberto Del Rio ends up. Uh, just in case you don't want to know the spoiler alert, Alberto Del Rio ends up uh, winning the title. Um, Cena gets locked out of the cage. You know, it happens. Cena gets locked out of the cage, but the match isn't really the big thing about it. Is the the thing is Triple H comes out. This is before the vote of no confidence thing, and 
Triple H comes out there and he, uh, you know, he gets in the face of Miz and R Truth who lock themselves in the cage because somehow the cage goes up and comes back down. They still haven't figured out that stuff on the storyline. Well, I don't know who's did all that crap, but hopefully it'll come out over time or at least they actually have someone. I don't like the Raw General Manager who they still don't have nothing going on for. But anyways, back to the subject. They come in the ring. They beat the heck out of the ref. They beat the heck out of Cena. They beat the heck out of Del, uh, Del Rio and Punk. And uh, then they get hauled out by the cops and Triple H jumps them and stuff. All the people, the whole roster's out there. Crazy stuff. A great ending to this pay-per-view. This was a solid pay-per-view from the WWE, uh, especially when I compare it to some of the others I've seen from other companies lately. But good pay-per-view. Definitely check it out. Thanks a lot for watching this. I guess I'll talk to you guys later. Everybody have a good one.